So as you develop Toronto's mental health strategy, remember the teacher who inspired me and the caring health visitor who set me on the road to recovery and compassionate stranger on the beach who shared my pain, as that is how we will create a kinder, more compassionate world. I'm thankful that organizers of the Big City Mayor's Mental Health Summit included community members who live with mental illness, because so often discussions about mental health wind up being prescriptive, with only practitioners and lawmakers given the chance to participate. People who live with mental illness deserve the same autonomy, respect, and dignity as every other person. Like every other branch of health care, mental health care will only succeed if it actively involves and listens to the voices of those most directly impacted by mental illness. I think what we saw this morning from the mayors across Canada and also from our mayor John Tory is that we've got a unique opportunity. Now that's not just because of the 2.1 billion dollars that has been promised for mental health from the Ontario government, but also because there's an increased openness about talking about mental health issues and there's an agreement that there's an urgency that something needs to be done. Governments need to be more collaborative, and there's a shared belief that this is really everyone's business.